G'day scientists, today I'm going to be using this kit here to make your own clock. It also teaches about timekeeping, so it's pretty suitable for the younger scientists. It's a really great way to get into science and tinkering, so let's check it out. This kit cost me about $15, it was on the cheaper side. Ah, inside you can start to see a bit about it. It's got a pendulum and that's why it doesn't require any batteries, a spring and gears and a bell. The <laughs> Excellent, it's going to ring a bell every 15 minutes. This is going to be super cool. Clocks are one of the most essential pieces of technology in our lives. They allow us to keep track of time, which is crucial for coordinating activities, managing schedules and planning events. But how do they work? I guess this kit will teach us how. Okay, let's open it up. Oh, I quite like the way it's all sealed inside this plastic case here. Hmm. All right, let's look at the instructions. Uh, in the instruction booklet, it's pretty plain. All the cogs are coloured here, so it should be easy to assemble and not get confused. In terms of learning, it doesn't explicitly tell you what you're learning in here. Let's start assembling. Base of clock on flat surface. Well, first of all, we've got this little thing that's holding it together. Okay, base of clock on the flat surface. Now let's take all of the cogs out. Position the clear circle with the tail number 11 on the small pillar as pictures. Number 11. It's pretty easy to look things up in this kit. It's all labelled in this book. So number 11 is the clear circle with the tail. There we go. It's on. That was quite hard to put on but it's on there now. Place the silver bell onto here. The clear stopper at number six. It's a large clear stopper, we've got, we've got two of on the top there like that. Okay, then attach the silver hammer, which is here. It rings already. Bing, bing, like a bicycle bell. At their most basic level, clocks are devices that measure and display the passage of time. The first clocks were probably sundials, which use the position of the sun to tell the time. Today, there are many types of clocks, each with their own method of timekeeping. The most common type of clock you'll find today is the electronic clock, which uses an electronic oscillator to keep track of time. The oscillator produces a regular series of pulses that can be used to measure time intervals. Another type of clock, which is the one we're building, is the type of mechanical clock, which uses a physical mechanism to keep track of time. The most familiar example of mechanical clocks are old-fashioned wristwatches and grandfather clocks. Place the green wind-up crank through the back of the clock and attach the white ratchet. Ah, uh, you see what's happening there? As we turn it, it only turns one way. Now the accuracy of a clock depends on its reference oscillator. The most accurate clocks use atomic oscillators, which are based on the natural vibrations of atoms. These clocks are accurate to within a few milliseconds or nanoseconds per year. All right, step four, we're adding wheel number. Yellow, red, white. Cool, and these are colored now, so I don't need to keep flicking backwards and forwards through the book. So place the red wheel onto here. Then we're gonna take the white wheel here. And then the yellow wheel onto here. Oh, already that looks pretty cool. Connect the thicker end of the white gear through the flat end of the black. That's yes. Then place this in the middle of the base of the clock. Ah, okay. At the moment, not connected to anything. And then take the black cog with four legs and put it here. Ah, look at that. Position the green wheel like that. Ah. Take the pink one over the top, like so. Now this is gonna drive, the black one is gonna drive one of the hour or the minute hands, and the white one underneath is gonna drive that. And the combination of these two cogs together are linking together the minute and the hour hands, which is pretty cool. First, place the red and white. Ah, so this is the spring. It's already wound and covered up, so it's safe for the younger scientists to use. Right, we're gonna put this 
onto here. That blue one goes on next this way around. Like that. Yes, there we go. And then we're putting, this is all now linked up, and we're putting the face onto the clock, like that. There we go. And that kind of locks everything into place. And we take the yellow pin, pop it through the top, that holds that in. And then this green stopper goes here and pushes these bits together. There we go. This is the clock kind of assembled now. The hour hand over the pink. Ah, so pink is driving hours. There we go. And the white cog is driving the minute. Next, flip the clock over. We're working on the back again now. And we're connecting the clear fork. Put the clear fork through the hole at the top of the clock. Okay, ah, got it. Connect the top and the bottom of the pendulum. Ah, and I can see what's gonna happen here. You can change the height of this pendulum and that's gonna change the oscillation and the speed of the clock to keep, whether it's keeping time or not. Wind up the green crank. Oh my goodness. Click, clock, click, clock, click, clock. It's actually pretty cool because you can see inside the clock and what's happening and you can see how the pendulum is rocking backwards and forwards on top of this gear. And any second now, you can see that this black part at 15 minute intervals here is going to release the metal arm in a minute and ring the bell. Clocks are essential for many aspects of modern life, from keeping track of our schedules to coordinating global events. By understanding how they work, we can better appreciate the role that they play in our lives. A pendulum clock is the type of clock that uses a swinging pendulum to measure time. Pendulum clocks are also one of the oldest types of clocks. They were first invented in the 16th century and they remained the most accurate type of clock all the way up until the 19th century. Now the bell is gonna ring any second now. Here it goes. Yay, pretty cool. Pendulum clocks are still used today, although they are not as common as they once were. Pendulum clocks are mostly used in homes and offices as decoration these days, but they can still be found in some public places, such as train stations and libraries, so keep an eye out for them. So, what did I think? It was a simple kit, the instructions were clear, it wasn't really teaching you much um, about science as you were building the kit, but you can see how it works because the whole thing is transparent. It's mostly made of plastic, but that's okay because the reuse value is high. We're gonna keep this around for some time. The click, 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 click is the sound you don't hear very often anymore, and it's actually quite therapeutic. The addition of the bell sound every 15 minutes is just delightful. I am gonna give this kit three stars for fun, three stars for a price, and two stars for learning. Bye or bye bye. It's a buy, I love this. It's really good for the younger scientists in particular. Particularly if they are learning to tell the time with a digital clock, this will help them stay interested in learning the time on an analog face. If you've enjoyed this video here, check out this one, which contains an LED color mixing crystal.